Hey guys, what's going on? Today Apple just released iOS 12 Developer Beta 3. So this update on my iPhone 10 came in at 569.7 megabytes. The update took about 15 minutes to install, so a little bit faster than Beta 2 in my opinion. And uh, the update is a bit smaller than Beta 2, as to be expected as we move down the line of new iOS 12 betas. But nevertheless, there are still a few changes and tweaks and bug fixes that I want to go through with you in this video. So the first thing is a glitch in the status bar in beta 2 is now fixed. So you can see here the battery life and the carrier text, are they're kind of leveled, they're not really even with each other. Uh, now in beta 3 here you can see they are completely level and it is completely fixed. So I didn't know if Apple did this on purpose, you know, to try to uh, you know, separate these two and have the carrier text higher than the battery life. In fact it was just a bug because they did fix that in beta 3. Another glitch that they did fix is in the Twitter application. So in the Twitter application, uh, there was a blank login screen. So if you happen to log out of Twitter and you want to log back in, it would just show a blank login screen and it would make the Twitter app completely inaccessible uh, You know, until you updated to the next beta, which is beta 3 today. So I actually had to use a completely different Twitter application for a whole week until I was able to sign back into Twitter. So thank you Apple for fixing that. I don't know why uh, you know, a beta release is gonna fix a Twitter login screen it's kind of weird in my opinion but at least they did fix that and I can use Twitter uh, once again the stock application on my iPhone another bug fix which I am very happy is here is FaceTime calls are no longer interrupted by a poor connection message so I've been FaceTiming with someone and we have bo both been on very very fast Wi-Fi and it still said poor connection and when the the video stream did uh, fix itself it went back to an HD video connection so it didn't pixelate or anything so that poor connection message obviously wasn't showing it because there was actually a poor connection it was just a glitch in the iOS software in iOS uh, iOS 12 beta 2 so uh, Apple did fix that now and FaceTime calls should work perfectly a, another small tweak here that I did find, uh, courtesy of my friend Sam over at iUpdate OS, is if you have a long carrier text on an iPhone 10 in the top left, uh, it will now scroll through instead of just putting three dots. So I'll put the video that he released up here uh, in the video, but if you do have a long carrier text, it will now scroll through uh, so you can read the whole thing. A, another change is low power mode in the battery settings uh, now outlines in yellow bars here. So you can see here whenever you're using your phone in low power mode and it wants to show you the usage in low power mode versus uh, normal mode, it will now outline it in yellow so you can see that your battery was dying maybe a little bit slower uh, than normal. So you can see here in yellow versus green. Uh, looks like Apple is putting a lot of time into tweaking the battery settings in iOS 12, which I really appreciate. Uh, you know, with this new uh, battery level chart, now they're tweaking the colors. You can see the different modes that you're in. It's really detailed, and I really do appreciate Apple uh, is putting the time into doing this. So possibly the biggest change here in iOS 12 beta 3 is the new Maps application. So Apple has completely overhauled Maps in iOS 12 beta 3. So a quick example, here is before, this is a screenshot from my iPad, but it's still the same area. This is beta two, and this is beta three. You can see here, it's a lot more detailed. You can see uh, it's there's more texture outline. You can see Apple recognizes different textures now in the application. You can see there's green and beige and darker green. There's different colors uh, when Apple recognizes that there are you know different types of ground and different areas in the map versus before it just didn't look very detailed here. It's all beige and then the road is up here and different and these are the different buildings. But here on beta 3 you can see it's a lot more detailed. And I'll quickly jump into this post that I saw here on Twitter. You can see here is uh, old versus new. So you can see here they outline more detailed stuff in green. You can see Apple does recognize a lot more uh, textures and stuff. So it's a it's very small, but it really is noticeable. And uh, you can see here this is a very good example. Uh, I think this is just uh, this might be a mountain or something. And uh, it's there's a ton of different shades of green. Uh, too many shades of green actually. So Apple is really recognizing uh, different textures and different types of uh, you know, terrain and stuff I guess in Maps. So uh, this is getting on the level of Google Maps in my opinion where Apple is actually taking the time and uh, perfecting Maps because before Apple Maps was just horrible. Uh, speaking of Maps, what is now fixed and I can confirm in Beta 3 is the GPS bug is now completely fixed in Beta 3. So before, whenever I would open up Maps, I'm not going to because it'll show my location, but whenever I would open up Maps, it would show that I am 
in the area that I am, but it would show a huge circle around me. Like it can't really pinpoint exactly where I am. Now, whenever I open up maps, it can exactly pinpoint where I am on Earth and uh, maps works fine now. So I don't know what happened there on beta one and beta two with the GPS bugs, but it is all fixed now. So guys, that is iOS 12 beta three. Uh, right now, the biggest thing is the changes to maps. Apple is making a lot of uh, you know pushes uh, to fix maps, and uh, I really do appreciate that. Hopefully, it can get on the level of Google Maps. I am still using Google Maps. I have not switched to Apple Maps just yet because it is not uh, at the level of being uh, as good as I want it to be, but uh, we will definitely see in the future. So guys, if there are any changes that you found in iOS 12 beta 3, let me know in the comments down below. My name is Mike. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.